I wasn't happy with the job that was done here on the grout wall with the stain. It was a little bit bumpy and it didn't look good. So I wanted to go over it. So I just sanded it back. Now I get to do two layers of stain over it. We have a leak. It's gonna be fine. We've got one back here and we've got one up there. A leak here. And then the second leak is right here under the under the sink next to the water heater. Houston, we have a problem. It's all a little bit stressful right now. So my next task is to use the shop vac to take out as much moisture and water as possible under the sink. Wish me luck. Unfortunately, Boston isn't all rainbows and unicorns. Wah. Now, still we have a problem. We found the leak. That's the good news. The bad news is it's in a really, really tight spot. What do you think? You're right. It's in a very tight spot. It is in a tight spot. Is it? And it's the connection between the water heater and the washer dryer. Is that correct? Yeah. Let me show you where it is. Right there. That's the guy. As you can see, it's in the worst place possible. <sighs> Must turn water off to the bus. Need to find where the connection is. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's nice and tight. Okay, the water's off, babe. We're getting closer to fixing the problem. Okay, could you turn the water on on the, on the sink? Yep. And just let it drain out? Okay, yeah, it's run out. Turn the water on out there. Turn the water back on? Outside, yeah. Do you think you got the connection? Nice and tight? I think I do. Okay. Back to turn on the water. Okay, water's back on. How'd it go? We got really lucky with how easy it was to get to. Pardon? We got really lucky. We found the right place. Yeah! I found the leak! Success! <sighs> Next! What to do now? While Ian fixes the leaks, he found another leak by the way. I'm going to finish the stain in the bathroom. Did we fix it? Did we fix it? You just turned the water back on, so we'll find out. This is a test. I think we got it? Three leaks? Three leaks. Not one, not two, but three leaks. Good job, high five. <laughs> that was pretty lame. Okay, last but not least in the bathroom, I am going to silicon these LED lights to the grout, to the top of this grout wall. And then the bathroom will be done. Very excited. <laughs> It's done.
one that it doesn't look pretty I'm not happy this stuff is really hard to work with my hands are all covered in glue and they're sticking to everything the LED strip Ugh. okay it's up I'm done I'm done it's done the bathroom is done the bathroom is done No, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> this way, like that. But it doesn't really have a. You just have to empty that. Anyway, what are you doing right now, babe? <laughs> so we have a six gallon water heater, and the water heater um, keeps six gallons of water hot all the time. And you know, whenever we're outside of the bus, I figure it's kind of cool to not have to keep the water heater on all the time. So I'm just going to put a 12 volt switch here so we can switch it on and off really easily. Right now, the way I've been doing it is pulling in and out a fuse, but I don't want to do it that way because it's a little time consuming. Whereas if we just had a switch right here, it'd be easy. This is the switch, but I'm not going to use this one. <laughs> this, is, this is some connectors, and then this is a board that I'm going to attach it to, and I'm going to ride on it. That's going to go right there. What do you mean you're not going to use that switch, but you showed us that switch? This is a switch from, this is an OG switch from the bus, and it's got all this junk on it. Dirty. Clean. Well, I changed my location of the water heater switch to back here. Why is that? Uh, I didn't want to run new wires. I put it right next to the fuse box. This one runs to the water heater and if I could connect the red, I'll clip the red like right about here and I'll connect it here and then I'll click this one to here and then it'll go to the fuse block and then instead of having to put the fuse in and out each time we want to do the water heater we just go click smells like candles huh mm -hmm. so this is the red wire is the hot wire that goes to the thing and so I'm splicing it so I just cut a hole in it here and the way the switch works is I put the switch on here and I put the switch on here and then the switch just tells you whether or not they're on and that way you can turn stuff off really quick and easy that's how switches work Interesting, right? Very interesting. What are you up to? We just, uh, we're deconstructing these tins that we got from the dollar store. They're actually little Merry Christmas tins. <laughs> we're turning them into, um... Spice racks! Spice rack. We'll screw them in here. And they'll hold spices. And then we we're also putting oils in the bigger ones. And so the oils will live over here on this side. And spices over here. DIY! Coming at ya! And guess what today is, babe? Today's the last day we're working on the bus. Yeah! And last until day. January. Yeah, exactly. We're taking a little break away from the bus. Very exciting. Are you excited? Woo! -hoo. Last day of the bus. One I'm more day. Stoked. This project's gone on too long. <laughs> Ian needs a break. Ian needs a break. Let's use some raw stuff. Cool. All right, V. You're ready to paint. Ready to paint.
are you doing right now, babe? You're back in the cupboard with the fuse box. Right now, I'm changing out these. These are 20 amp fuses, and we use 14 gauge wire, which means that these circuits aren't graded to protect these wires. So what I'm doing is changing out these 20 amp circuits for 15 amp circuits. And then the wires will be rated for those proper wires. And look, you can see that there was a mouse in here. Look, they brought little pieces of wood in here. What? That's funny. Oh, those mice. Good job, B. Yeah. Looks very cool. I want to say a special, special thanks to uh, Phil Harper and Cool Breeze. These guys alerted me to the fact that my wiring was sketchy and so I've adjusted it. I've fixed it. I changed out my 20 amp breakers to 15 amp breakers. As you can see, 15 here. These used to be 20 amp breakers, but now they're 15 amp breakers thanks to Phil and Cool Breeze. They let me know that using 14.2 Romex with 20 amp breakers is not okay. And because all the circuits are perfectly fine with 15 amps, I switched out the tandem 20s that I had, and now I've just got three 15 amps. I put them all back together, and now I should be able to plug everything in. Uh, neutral stays the same, ground stays the same. I just put these breakers in. Switched out the breakers, put them back in. There's an empty one in case I want to run another one later. Yeah, it's another cool uh, testament to the YouTube thing, because who knows, maybe this bus would have burned down if it weren't for you guys uh, letting me know about this wiring problem. Finishing up the trim now. On last night, so we had to countersink them first before putting them on. One hook there for our tea towels and towels, and then the other one for our little dust pan and broom. Yeah, it's time to put on our spice rack. <laughs> I'm transplanting my cacti and I am replanting a cutting of a succulent. <laughs> trim is done oh now we got to finish the rope trim but we got the wrong rope from Home Depot so we need to take that back and get the bigger stuff to finish the rest of the trim so here we go back to Home Depot yay here's a video on how to fix a lock now you see we have this lock here and we have this key which works we went to Home Depot the hardware store and we got this, the copy. But when I put the copy in, it's still sticky. It doesn't work and it gets stuck in the lock. Now when I hold them up really, really closely, you can see that right here on the end, if you look very closely, there's this tiny little ridge right there. And that's what's causing the problem. That's why this one doesn't work and this one does work. If I try to put this one in here, it won't move. If I do it with this one, it locks and unlocks easily. So here's how you fix it. 
I've got an angle grinder with a grinding and polishing disc. It's important to use a grinding and polishing disc because if you use a grinder blade, you might go way too far. I didn't need to take off much, but I just rounded off that little nub at the top. So this is the one that they cut up that didn't match, and this is the one that now works. If you look really closely, all I did was take off this little nub right here. It's got this little tooth. That's the tooth that was making it so the key didn't work. It's time to finish the trim with this 100% manila rope. Manila? Manila. I didn't know it was called that. You're so knowledgeable about rope. <laughs> I just read the packet. <laughs> Ian's having his first shower in the bus and I'm gonna check out in the day how the window film is. And this is the window here. Ian! Wave to me! Ian! Hello! Ian! I can't see him at all. Can't even see his silhouette right now. Oh, that's great! That's awesome! I think that it's strange to take a video of me while I'm taking a shower. Wow! The bus is very done. V's actually having her first shower. Ah! You're having the first shower. I know it's so cool. I love it. Thus concludes the bus videos. Woohoo! We did it! That's right, folks. Episode 102 is the episode of completion. Now the bus is done. We did it! It's done! Holy moly! Give me five. Ha! <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> we started the project in March and it's completed in December. We thought that it would be done in August and so... Did we really? It took a lot, a lot of time. <laughs> you totally did, remember? No, I was hoping. I was hoping. There was yeah. always hope. But everything took, what, three times longer? Everything took three times longer than anticipated. Everything, uh-huh. But now it looks great. Yeah. What? Look, babe. This is my favorite pillow, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this construction series of uh, 102 videos that we've created about buying an, a school bus and turning it into a little house. I'm actually bummed we didn't just make a hundred. I told you that, right? I wanted it to be a hundred. Yeah. It was a weird number, 102. Anyway! Oh, is it 102 or 103? Is that going to be 103? I don't know. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been encouraging us uh, along the whole way, commenting, um, encouraging Ian when he was really down about everything. <laughs> like every episode. <laughs> Um, everyone who supported me during my mo month of Mosaic, just, we couldn't have done it without you guys, and, uh, it would have really sucked, actually, big time, if we didn't have all of you guys cheering us on. So, thank you, we love you, mwah, 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 more videos to come, not sure if they're gonna be bus conversion videos, no, they won't be. The but they will be, they could be buff videos, no conversion videos. If you have any ideas on videos that we should make, or where, or where should we take the bus on our first real bus trip after Ian has a holiday? The Airbnb is going to be, if you, yeah, the, the bus is going to be um, up for uh, rent on Airbnb. So yeah. if somebody wants to come stay in it in Southern California, they should check Hit that us out. Up. Send us a we'll have a video up and we'll have a link to the listing underneath. We're going to link it in the description. Um, yeah, it's going to be in Huntington Beach at our friend's place. He's awesome. Um, Huntington Beach is awesome. If anyone wants to come stay, let us know. Um, for now, it will live in Huntington Beach. 
go up on Airbnb and we will not be here. We're going on holiday. We're going skiing. Bye bye to the bus for now. Thank you all for watching. Thanks guys. That was way too much. <laughs> okay.